Hallelujah. Are you there? Amen. So you have your cup. <coughs> we have your cup. Here is the cup. And here is the bread. Hallelujah. Here is the bread. Hallelujah. It has been broken. I have it in my hand. Here is it in my hand. I have it in my hand. And I know you have yours. I can see you. Yes. I can see you. You have it right now. And I said to you, if you have no bread, just ordinary bread is enough or water is enough. And here is the wine. Here is the grape. You can use the grape juice. Hallelujah. You open it, just as I've opened the bread and break it. Then you open it. And then you put it on the glass. Hallelujah. Now, the Bible says in Acts of Apostles chapter 20, if you look at verse number 7, and on the first day of the week, on the first day of the week, we come together to break the bread. We come together to break the bread. Acts of Apostles chapter 20 verse 7. On the first day of the week, we come together to break the bread. Hallelujah. Paul spoke to the people and because he intended to leave the next day, he kept on till midnight. He kept on till midnight. You can read it on your own. He kept the bread. Hallelujah. Because he intended to leave, he waited until midnight. So this is why I said to you, we're going to eat this bread at midnight. We're going to take the communion. When you eat the body of Jesus Christ and drink of his blood, you become one with him. Hallelujah. You become one with him. And when you are one with him, it's when you see his power manifesting in you. For in John chapter 6 verse 33, say, I am the bread of life. Hallelujah. For the bread of God is bread. For the bread of God is the bread that comes from heaven. It is the one that comes from heaven. He said, I am the living bread, which come down from heaven. Hallelujah. If any man eats of this bread, he shall live. He said, the bread that I shall give to the world is my flesh, which is for the life of the world. You can read it up to verse number 57, 58 in that John chapter 6. Hallelujah. So you have your bread with you. You have it now. You are going to lift it up and we're going to pray. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. And as we pray, hallelujah, you're going to see the power of God. Hallelujah. The Bible said also in Luke chapter 24 verse 30. He said, when he was at the table with them, he took the bread and gave thanks and break it. And began to give it to them. He gave thanks and break it. And began to give it to them. So now that you have your bread, hallelujah, I want you right now to lift the bread and lift the cup. I'm going to pray, and when I pray, you're going to eat the bread, and you drink the wine, which is the blood of Jesus Christ. Every deadness in your life, die. Whatever the enemy has planted in your life, die. Every power that gives Satan access into your life, die. That door they use in entering you, is it anger? Is it fornication? Is it adultery? Is it envy? Is it jealous? Is it unforgiveness? Whatever means, whatever means they use in entering you, that door will be closed. You begin to live a holy life. You begin to live a life of praising God. Because when something is about to happen in your life, you be, the wickedness of the wicked will begin to penetrate. Hallelujah. They come in and begin to do nonsense for you. So I'm going to pray with the, bread, with the bread and then you are going to drink it. And when you drink it, then you will see the power of God manifested in you. They said, I said you should read from 
Verse number 33. <coughs> Down to 57. In verse 48. Say, I am bread of life. Jesus saying. Your ancestors eat manna in the desert and die. But there is a bread that comes down from heaven. Which if any man eats of this bread, he shall not die. He will never die. And this is the bread I want to eat with you. So that death will leave you alone. Whether physical death or spiritual death will leave you alone. They will leave you. If your name has been written in the book of death, they will leave you. They will leave you. Hallelujah. So are you there? This is the second part of this prayer. Are you there? Now, take the bread and lift it up. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I consecrate this communion in the name of the Father. I consecrate this communion in the name of God the Son. I consecrate this communion in the name of God the Holy Spirit. This is no more ordinary bread, and this is no more ordinary wine. This is the body of Jesus Christ, and this is the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, as our children are lifted up this bread, I consecrate the bread in the name of the Father. I consecrate the bread in the name of God the Son. I consecrate this communion in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Whosoever drinketh of, eateth of his flesh and drinketh of his blood, we have life indeed. Because you are the living bread which come down from heaven. If any man has eaten of this bread, he shall live. I consecrate this communion in the name of God the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. My Father and my God, as this bread are lifted up in every continent, every nation of the world, Father, as we eat of it, we shall live. In the name of Jesus Christ. By partaking of this bread, every sickness dies. Every power of poverty, every power of sickness, every power of sin, we are separated from them. Father, arise. Touch this communion that has been lifted up. In the various homes, in the various countries, in the various communities. Father, I consecrate this communion once again. And I declare, this is life indeed. This is meat indeed, and this is drink indeed. Whosoever drinketh of it shall live. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever represents Satan in their body, die. As soon as this bread is partaken, yes, some of you lifted water. You are lifting water up, yes. I command that water to become the body and blood of Jesus Christ. Remember, in the beginning, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon the waters. And it separated. And the world was were without form and void. The Bible says, and the Spirit of the Lord God was upon the waters. And it separated water from the waters. So that water you have lifted up is now, I order it to become the body and blood of Jesus Christ. That as you partake of it, you will have life indeed. Every sickness in your body die. Every access you have given to Satan to enter you, to attack you, die. In the name of Jesus Christ. So I consecrate it once again in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. For in Jesus Christ, mighty name, we pray. Can I hear everyone say, Amen. Jesus said in that John chapter 6, I am the living bread which come down from heaven. If any man eat of his bread, he shall live. The bread I shall give to the world is my flesh which is for the life of the world. Peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In 1 Corinthians 10, he said, The cup of blessing which you bless in no communion in the blood of Jesus Christ, the bread which you bless in no communion in the body of Jesus Christ. For we be many and one bread, for we are all partakers of this one bread. Peace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Can I hear the saints say, Amen. Now, eat the body of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and eat it and drink his blood. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. It is done. 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 Your life will never remain the same. Every sickness in your body die. Whatever door 
the enemy has opened in your life is dead. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch forth my hands on you. Right now, receive the power to live. Because the body of Jesus Christ is bread indeed. Jesus said to them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink of his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eateth of my flesh and drinketh of my blood has, life, has eternal life. And I will raise them up on the last day. For my flesh is real food and my blood is real drink. Whoever eateth of my flesh and drinketh of my blood remains in me and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me, just as the living Father sent me, because just as the living Father sent me and I live because of the Father, so you, the one who feed on my flesh, will live because of me. This is the bread that come back from heaven. This is the bread that come back from heaven. As you have eaten of his blood, as if eaten of his flesh and drink of his blood, you will have life indeed. You will live, you will not die. Your finances will live. Your career will live. The power to become wealthy will live in you. The power to get wealth is in you. The power to live is in you. The power to be successful is in you. The power to be great is in you. The power to recover is in you. Right now, I release you. You will have life indeed. And you live because I live. Christ is in you now. Remember, Christ in you, the hope of glory. For greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Greater thing has come inside of you right now in that home, in that family, in that nation where you are. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus Christ, mighty name, we pray. Can I hear say, say, Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. So thank you, the Holy Spirit. Father, as the children have partake of your flesh and drink of your blood, they will have life indeed. Their spiritual eyes will be open. Their ears will be open. The power to get wealth, the power to be successful is already in their hands. It's already in their palm. In the name of Jesus Christ, every sickness in their body is dead. Hallelujah. The former things have passed away. Behold, new things, new things have come inside of you. New life, new angel, new success. Everything in you has been made anew. <clears throat> in the name of Jesus Christ. So go ahead and give him thanks. Give him thanks for the new life. For greater power is inside of you. The one that is in you is greater than your troubles. It's greater than every sickness in your life. So give him praise. Give him praise. Magnify his holy name now. Worship him in the beauty of his holiness. Worship him now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 In Jesus Christ, mighty name, we pray. <coughs> Hallelujah. Children of God, listen. Your destiny is in your hand right now. Walk majestically. Approach every situation because the door is open unto you. Approach that situation. Approach every situation from now. It is well with you. It is well with your finances. It is well with your health. I will not like to take you far anymore. I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. I soak your home. I soak your family. I soak your finances. I soak your prayer life. I soak everything that belongs to you into the blood of Jesus Christ. And I declare it is well with you. It is all with their marriage, it is all with their finances, it is all with their health, it is all with their children. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is all with their nation, it is all with their leaders. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Father. For in Jesus Christ, mighty name, we pray. Can the saints of God say, Amen. Hallelujah. It is done. It is done. Hallelujah. He is risen. 
He is risen. He is risen. Amen. Let's share the grace because we are coming back again by 6 o'clock this morning to meet. Cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. For in Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen. I love you. Let's share the grace now. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us all now forevermore. Amen. Surely. <coughs> Good days and mercy of the Lord shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Shalom. Remember, better is not good enough for you. The best is yet to come. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Send me your testimony right now because I know something has happened. I know something has, has happened in your life. Send your testimony to me. And again, if you want to be part of this program, you want to participate on LCP, go ahead. The, the, the account number and send me a, a, an email on prophetisaka at rafatv.com. Then I will send you, I will send you something. I mean, I will send you the bank details. Then you deposit whatever the Lord minister to you. But the reference should be LCP. So I want to identify the reference LCP, hallelujah. And go ahead and send me the confirmation and your full name so that from there I will connect you. I will never leave you, hallelujah. That situation must change. That's why I want you to be part of this evangelism. Hallelujah. This is a life-changing moment. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Lord. It is done. I love you. See you again by 6, 06 hours in the morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, shalom. Shalom.